Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to be talking about Armenian language and precisely its beautiful script. And first of all, let me explain you how I decided to make such a video. In one of the previous videos, when I was talking about the Tat language, I explained that this winter I was traveling around the Caucasus, and one of the countries that I visited was Armenia. Right away when I got there, I noticed the beautiful letters of the Armenian language that were very different from the letters of the surrounding countries – Georgia, Azerbaijan or Iran. And then I decided to make a video about this topic because, for me personally, it was very interesting how this alphabet was created. So here we are, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of Armenian language and, of course, its beautiful script. And I'm sure there are some things about Armenian language that you didn't know before. So pay attention to the details and watch this video till the end. Let's start! Okay, what do we know about the Armenian language? It's an Indo-European language spoken mainly in Armenia and in Nagorno-Karabakh, which is an unrecognized independent republic in the Nagorno-Karabakh region of South Caucasus. Actually, if we look at the map, it's part of Azerbaijan. That's why it's very difficult to distinguish it on the maps. By the way, if you want to watch a very good documentary about this region, you can click here, but pay attention, it's in Spanish. However, you can activate the English subtitles. Okay, there are also Armenian speakers not only in Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh, but in other countries. For example, in Russia, Lebanon, the USA, Turkey, Iran, France, etc. It's very important to say that Armenian belongs to its own independent branch of the Indo-European family of languages, so it's not closely related to any other languages. There are two main varieties of Armenian – Eastern Armenian and Western Armenian. To educated speakers of either variety, the other is more or less mutually intelligible. Eastern Armenian has 2.9 million speakers in Armenia, where it's the official and most commonly spoken language. There are also about 660,000 speakers of Eastern Armenian in the Dagestan Republic of the Russian Federation, 120,000 in Azerbaijan and 100,000 in Iran. The total number of speakers is about 4 million. Of course, one of the most prominent characteristics of the Armenian identity is its language. And the precise origins of the language are a little obscure, as it's considered one of the world's ancient languages. Not much is known about the Armenian language before it was first written in the 5th century AD, though the Armenians are mentioned in the inscriptions dating back to the 6th century BC. The type of Armenian spoken and written in the 5th century is known as Classical Armenian, or Grabar. It contains numerous loanwords from Persian and also from Greek, Syriac, Latin and other languages. Grabar continued to be used as a literary language until the late 19th century. The Armenian used between about the 11th and 15th century is known as Middle Armenian, and it contains more loanwords from Arabic, Turkish, Persian and Latin. The two main modern forms of Armenian emerged during the 19th century, when the traditional Armenian homeland was divided between the Russian and Ottoman empires. Western Armenian developed among Armenians who had moved to Constantinople, while Eastern Armenian developed among Armenians living in Tbilisi in Georgia. Many newspapers in each of the variants were published and many schools for each variety were set up. This resulted in widespread literacy and to an increase in the amount of literature published in modern Armenian rather than in the classical language. As I've said before, the Armenian language has its unique writing system. The alphabet consists of 36 letters and three more were added in the 12th century to accommodate foreign words. Those letters were… However, it should be noted that in reality two letters were added, as stands for AND in English. Therefore, there are 31 consonants and 7 vowels. 
One of the most incredible things about the Armenian language that I'm sure you didn't know before is the fact that the Armenian letters can be used instead of numbers. For example, in ancient calculations you can see Armenian letters used instead of numbers, as each letter had a corresponding number. And the most fascinating thing is the Armenian calendar, made with Armenian letters. Also, the Armenian language has completely different punctuation marks from Western languages. The full stop or period in Armenian looks like a colon in English. And the question mark is a curvy line placed not at the end of the sentence, but above the word in question. For example, how are you would be the semicolon in Armenian is the full stop we use in English, and it also has a special punctuation mark to identify abbreviated words. Ok, now let's talk a little bit more about the Armenian alphabet, as it was a unique creation and became a distinctive feature of the Armenian language. The Armenian alphabet was created in 405 AD by Mesrop Mashtots, 100 years after Christianity had been adopted as the national religion in Armenia. The Bible was not available in the local language, and the primary reason for creating their own written language was to translate the holy book and make it available for local people. In the late 4th century AD, King Ramshapu of Armenia asked Mesrop Mashtots one of the officials in his chancellery and a prominent scholar, to create a new alphabet for Armenian. Before then, Armenian had been written with cuneiform scripts, which was deemed unsuitable for religious works by the Armenian church. Mashtots traveled to Alexandria, where he studied the principles of writing and came to the conclusion that the Greek alphabet was the best alphabet in use at that time, because there was an almost one-to-one -one correspondence between sounds and letters. He used this model to come up with a new alphabet, which he presented to the king when he returned back to Armenia in 405 AD. The new alphabet was well received, and a new Armenian translation of the Bible was published in 405 AD. By the way, medieval Armenian sources also claim that Mashtots invented the Georgian and Caucasian Albanian alphabets around the same time. However, most scholars link the creation of the Georgian script to the process of Christianization of Iberia, a core Georgian kingdom of Kartli. Now we know that Mashtots was a church servant who wanted to promote the role of Christianity with the Armenian alphabet, and his religious inclinations were clearly reflected in the script. As the first letter stands for God, or Astvats in the local language, stands for Holy Spirit, and the last letter of the script stands for Christus, or Christ in English. Various scripts have been credited with being the prototype for the Armenian alphabet, Pahlavi was the priestly script in Armenia before the introduction of Christianity, and Syriac, along with Greek, was one of the alphabets of Christian scripture. Armenian shows some similarities to both, however, the general consensus is that Armenian was modeled after the Greek alphabet, supplemented with letters from a different source or sources for Armenian sounds that were not found in Greek. The evidence for this is the Greek order of the Armenian alphabet, the O ligature for the vowel U as in Greek, and the shapes of some letters which seem derived from a variety of cursive Greek. It has been speculated by some scholars in African studies following Dmitry Olderoge that the Gies script had an influence on certain letter shapes but this has not been supported by any experts in Armenian studies. There are four principal calligraphic hands of the script. Erkatagir, seen as Mesrop's original, was used in manuscripts from the 5th to 13th century and is still preferred for epigraphic inscriptions. 
Bolor gear or cursive was invented in the 10th century and became popular in the 13th. It has been the standard printed form since the 16th century. Notter gear or minuscule invented initially for speed was extensively used in the 16th to 18th centuries and later became popular in printing. Shega gear or slanted writing is now the most common form. The script has its own monument not far from Yerevan. Located at the just 40 minute ride from the capital, Artashevan is home to the monument dedicated to the Armenian language. When the country celebrated its 1600th birthday of the alphabet in 2005, Armenian architect Torusyan created these giant stone-carved 39 letters to commemorate the work of Mashtots.